We're gonna go over the advancement of the wave squat in the green movement category. So for these individuals, you've got a phenomenal wave squat. That means you can do a wave squat with your heels on the floor. There's no compensation. A full hip hinge to at least parallel to the floor, keeping your torso upright and on your heels. You should have really good proficiency there as well as feel very strong without being too fatigued to take it to this next level. And the next level is that same hip hinge pattern with one leg. And it's the same pattern, one leg. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you the most active way. And by doing things more actively rather than passively, you get more neurological efficiency, which means we get more results in less time. So I'll show you this way. If you need variations, let us know. So again, I stand weighted on my heel, knee is soft, hips are gonna hinge, they hinge, they hinge. This looks like my one-legged Superman. Now from here, I'm gonna knee hinge. I wanna sit at my knee, sit at my knee, Notice I use this back foot. I'm not gonna not use it and fall. I'm actually gonna use this back foot to guide me right where I wanna go. And I'm gonna guide it right to this heel and actually make it harder on myself so I know where I'm at and I come up from there. So again, hip hinge, hip hinge, hip hinge. Then we're gonna hinge at the knee, knee, knee. And I keep hinging at the knee, knee, knee. And I end up at the same spot that I would if I had done my wave squat on two legs. Same position, but now I'm fighting a little bit of rotation and obviously have a lot more load on that one hip. Show you from the front, hip hinge, hip hinge, hip hinge, and then we're gonna knee hinge, knee hinge, knee hinge. Sit into this outside corner of the heel, standing up. Three different ways you can start to get stronger on your squat. And it's all based on how you have your ankle at the bottom. This is level one. Laces flat is level two. Level three is with no foot. And level four would be to have the foot in front of you. So standing up from this, from say a level two here, laces are flat. I stand up. We hip hinge. I'm going to knee hinge again. Boom. This time I'm going to take this up to the next level. There's no weight here. That means there's more weight here, which means there's more load on my lead leg. Stand up from there. Then the last level of that would be getting stronger in a squat. Hip hinge, hip hinge, hip hinge. You can take this leg through. Now knee hinge, knee hinge, knee hinge. And we stand straight up, that being obviously the last level. So. Have fun with that, that, advancing your wave squat. Remember, if it's too difficult or you don't have a frame of reference as far as where you're at, revert back to the next level, your regular wave squat, and challenge yourself more effectively there. Good luck.